Well, hey, folks, welcome to the Mandolin Tune of the Week. Thanks for joining me this week. Uh, we've got a great Donna Stoneman tune, a very underrated mandolin player, played with the Stonemans, obviously, uh, going all the way back to the 1960s, but she's still playing today, uh, still sounds just as good as ever. This is one that she wrote called Colossus. So before we get started, I'll let you know that I do run a Patreon account, which means if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can follow the link in the description below to my Patreon. There you can find tabs, backing tracks, uh, things of that nature for these Mandolin Tune of the Week videos. And that's just $3 a month, uh, and every week there's a new Tune of the Week, obviously. And additionally, you can subscribe to Patreon for $8 a month and get access to some bonus lessons. Going even further down that rabbit hole, I do have some open lesson slots right now as of uh, February 2022. Uh, but anytime you're watching this, just get in touch with me. Uh, I might have some space to work in lesson-wise. I love doing private teaching uh, just as much as this. Uh, so just drop me a line. Uh, all my contact info is in the description below. Well, all right, this is Colossus. Let's go ahead and get started. So this tune is kind of a lot. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of repeating sections, but it does have some phrases that repeat. So I'll just go ahead and break it down, uh, starting here with the intro. So first off, we're gonna hammer on. So one and two and that's the count for that. And I'm just going D, D, D up there to the 10th fret. I'm just kind of playing this D arpeggio. And then G, starting on that B, G, B, D, G, or B, G, D, G. And then um, this little D lick, F sharp, A, F sharp, kind of in this triplet. And we're actually going to hit a C on our way down there. Um, so that's the intro. I'm going to go ahead and play that once more. And that's going to just be played twice, uh, kicking off the tune. So next up, uh, we'll do what I consider the A section. I guess you could look at it as there's A1 and A2, and they're a little different. Uh, I'll just go ahead and play A1 for now, and then we'll break it down phrase by phrase. So one two, three, four. So that's what I would consider A1. Uh, we're going to start off here just with this lick. This tune has a, a very um, repetitive pattern of this kind of rhythmic pattern on the right hand. So keep that in mind as you go through this. And another rule of thumb for this, uh, just like a lot of Bill Monroe material, um, Donna is playing a lot of notes with her right hand, not as many notes with her left hand. So that can get kind of confusing when you're trying to learn something by ear. But a good rule for this is if you can't figure out what both notes are, they're most likely the same note. Uh, that's true in a lot of Bill Monroe's playing, and it's true for this tune as well. So once again, here's that first lick. Now our second phrase. So. G, A, G, E, E, C, C, D, E. And we'll catch an A at the end of that. So once more. And then repeat. And then we'll play this little lick. So once more, and we're going to be sliding from the 6 to the 7 there. And 
and then we have a little tag lick that we're going to do. Go into that G chord. So A, A, C, C, E, G, playing this 5 and 3 double stop, D and G. And just play that same ending lick there. So let's go ahead and check out the back half now from this lick. So that's what I would consider A1. Uh, I'll go ahead and play all of that now slowly just to put it in context. So one, two, three, four. And that's going to be our pickup notes going into A2. So I'll just play A2 slowly. We're going to use a lot of those same phrases uh, from before, but there's some different things in there as well. So here is A2. One and two. So just like that is A2, it's really just going to start off different and we're going to end it the same. So starting off, I'm just doing this very Bill Monroe thing, G, A, and then four down strokes, all quarter notes, uh, playing the open A and the fretted A, like a little octave there. And then just play that twice. So G, A, A, B, A. So together. Then the next lick. Just like that. A, G, E, D, E. And then, same lick that we played in A1, and then from uh, here on out is the same as A1. So I'll go ahead and play all of A2 now slowly, uh, just again to put this in context. One, two, three, four. And there you go, that is A1 and A2. Now we're going to play, uh, I guess, what we could call the B section. It's really just a short bridge. Um, we're going to go up here to the 14th and the 10th fret on the G and the D string. So this phrase is actually the reason I'm playing my Collings today rather than my Gibson. Uh, I have a dead fret on my Gibson, which is the 14th fret, so I cannot play this phrase. So I had to get this mandolin out instead. So lesson learned here, folks, is humidify your instruments throughout the winter or else you're going to be paying some luthier bills. So we're just going to play this little rhythmic pattern, uh, dropping from the 14 and the 10 to the 12 and the 10. Play that twice, once more.
So the third time, drop down to the 12 and the 10, and then we're going to bar the 10 and the 10 and the 9 and the 9. And then we're going to start the C part on that open D. So once again, here is that whole B section. So one, two, three, four. into our C part. So with the C part, uh, there's going to be C1 and C2. I'll go ahead and play C1 now, and then we'll start to break it down. So one, two, three, four. So in true Bill Monroe spirit, uh, there's going to be a lot of these double notes. Uh, Donna really does that a lot. So everything is going to be two notes there. And then we're going to be playing these kind of passing drone notes as we walk from the C to the, or to the C from the E using that open A. And then that's going to start our next lick, but I'll go ahead and repeat that once more. So... So then we're going to land on this C, and then hit that G after. play double notes kind of up this C arpeggio, C, E, G. Just like that. And then we're going to go to D. So after this, it's going to be a little pause. And then E, A, D, A, D. And same thing there, same thing that we did on the C, just moved up to D with that arpeggio. And then land on this B note twice. So C, A, B, A, or C, A, B, then we're going to go to A. And that's going to be our ending. So F sharp here played on the ninth fret. Open A, E, open A, D. And then that little uh, lick there. So that last phrase all together will sound something like this. And that's going to be our C1. I'll go ahead and play it all together once more. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Now our C2 is going to go way up to this high octave of D and C. I'll go ahead and play that once and then we'll break it down. So pretty simple compared to the uh, C1 part. So we're going to start out. And make sure you're using these two fingers. That's really going to make this whole phrase work with the fingering of everything. So 10 and 12, and then hammer on to that 14th fret, or the third, that F sharp, and then just walk it down to the C. And then same thing in C, and back to D. So far, for C2, this is what we've got. Just 
going to repeat that uh, first line at the end. And then a really easy walk from C sharp, uh, kind of like an A arpeggio, A double stop here, back down to that D note. So altogether, C2 will go something like this. One and two. So there it is, folks. That is Colossus. I'm going to go ahead and play all the parts once more uh, by themselves slowly just so that you can play along. So starting with the intro. One, two, three, four. Now A2, one, two, three, four. to the B section or the bridge. One, two, three, four. And that's going to land us in the C part. So here is C1. One, two, three, four. C2. And that's the whole tune, folks. Colossus by Donna Stoneman. So there it is. Thank you for supporting the Mandolin Tune of the Week. Come back every Sunday. There's a new tune. And make sure to check out the Patreon. Uh, that really helps me keep this going from week to week. It's... Uh, Surprising amount of work to learn these great tunes, even though I love doing it. So Colossus by Donna Stoneman. I'll play it once more, and uh, feel free to play along. One, two, one. 